This video is not going to be the most entertaining video in the world, but I hope it's really helpful. It's going to be pretty educational. Today, I'm going to mix all the vocals for Jay Sondry's song, When It's Cold Out. It's not out yet, so I guess you'll get a little sneak peek of it here. Uh, it's going to be lead vocals, background vocals, ad-libs, vocal stacks. It's going to be a lot of work, uh, so it's going to be a long video. By the way, I know a lot of the plugins I use are expensive, and people don't have them, and you don't want to buy a plugin just to watch a video, so I'm going to do a version of the mix with Ableton stock plugins with a preset I made earlier. If you want, you can just check the chapters out and skip to that part if you want to check out the preset. It's going to be available at the store, and there's going to be a 25% discount for it today. Okay, let's get started. So here's the beat I made for Jay Sondry based off of a demo. <laughs> pretty lovely beat. Um, he included some vocals, some demo vocals, just so I can get a vibe of how the song's supposed to be. Looks like I deleted them though, which is fine. We just got the final vocals sent in. So we're gonna drag them in, hold command, and that's it for that. Next thing we have to do is sort them. So I'm gonna right click and make sure everything is black. And then I'll have to sort these out. Yeah, let's just make it that. Cool. Now we're gonna highlight all these right click and assign color to track clips or track color to clips. I like to do one by one. So I'm actually going to disable all of these. I keep pressing the emoji button. I'm going to disable all those and get them out of the way. Okay. So looking at the dynamics, you can see there is quite a bit of change here in volume. Let's make sure they look the same. I'm actually going to make it as loud as possible without clipping. Okay, so now that all the vocals are even, I just turned them down a little bit because they were hitting the compressor a little too hard. And I'm going to throw a compressor on. And you can see there's some sharp transients going on right here. Pretty uh, sharper than the rest, I guess. I want to even out these transients. I just want to compress when the transients hit. So I'm looking for about 1 to 3 dB of gain reduction on those transients. And I'm also going to hit it at like an 8, eight to 1 ratio. Right. See how it just barely hits? Let's turn it up a little bit. Smile there it is. In this town, Let's check these other transients here. we go. So that's just hit the transients. That's lowering the transients a little bit. Okay, now that the transients are tamed, I'm going to throw an LA-2A on there to get it even across the spectrum. Uh, I'm going to shoot for 3 to 5 dB of gain reduction throughout the whole song. It's pretty dynamic. We're probably not going to get 3 to 5 throughout the entire song, but um, somewhat similar to that. Dancing clouds turning sprouts above the trees Cool. Now let's check. Uh, let's turn these off and on to make sure the gain is the same. It probably won't be. A little bit of gain lost, so let's add that back. Close that. Let's hop into some EQ. Now, I do want to say that vocals that are recorded really well are much easier to mix. It's really hard to mix vocals that are recorded badly, um, or at least it's hard to make them sound good. Jay records great. Um, there's a pretty low noise floor. He's got good takes. He's got uh, good mic technique. So it's, it's quite easy to mix vocals that are recorded well and performed well. Anyway, let's hop into some EQ. Let's roll off the lows. You keep whispering in my ear. And I'm going to turn down the mix in my headphones quite a bit. You keep whispering in my ear. Come out here. Is this bring in my ear? Is this real? In my mind, all I know 
never feeling down. That sounds awesome. Will you be on your All right, I'm gonna turn the mix back up my headphones. Tell me now if I ever need someone to stay the night. Tell me, tell me now. Gonna add a little bit more of that body back. If I ever need some cool. Okay, I'm going to throw the Pultec on now. I love the Pultec for vocals. Um, I love adding the, the low mids back. It's nice and warm with the Pultec. Uh, it does get muddy quick, pretty quickly, though. So it's going to go to about uh, 100. Without it. You keep whispering in my ear. And with it. You keep whispering in my ear. A little more body back. Is this real? Are you an illusion in my mind? All I know is all it's me. Darling, you Lighting up the hills again. All right. Next, I'm going to add a bit of saturation. For that, I'm going to use the HG2. This is a great saturation plugin. You keep whispering in my ear. Is this real? This is going to add a lot of that body back. You keep whispering in my ear. Is this real? There we go. Are you an illusion in my mind? All I know is all it's me. See that saturation is uh, very audible there. You Let's keep down whispering quicker. in my ear. Last step for right now is some more dynamic control. Uh, I'm going to throw Arvox on there. Something I like to do is absolutely compress the hell out of it, and it gets a nice fat vocal. You keep whispering in my ear. Is this real? Are you an illusion in my mind? Cool, let's listen to it alone. You keep whispering in my ear Three miles an hour through the breeze I moved the pull tech after the Arvox just because it's it's creating a little more body so I'm going to remove a little more body from the uh, pull tech Three miles an hour through the breeze Dancing clouds Turning sprouts above the trees. Okay, last thing I'm going to do dynamics-wise is throw a SSL Fusion... What's it called? Let's throw an SSL Fusion high-frequency compressor. It acts like a de -esser. Um, I don't find the S's are too, too sharp, so I'm just going to use this. Dream up. There we go. Now we're just hitting the S's. This town probably three miles an hour through the breezy, brightest smile in this town. Brightest smile. 
I caught a little too much of the lows out of here. I'm gonna throw it into the reverb just to get some space. Cool. All right. Let's turn the delay up. Just a tiny bit. Cool. I'm gonna add some fresh air on there as well. Just get all that nice high end sizzle back. And if you're ever feeling down, I'm on my way. Okay, so the change for right now is a 76 into a 2A into a Pro Q. That kind of looks like this. This should actually be a little more up here. Um, what is the key of the song? Little quick tip. Let's figure out the key of the song. I'm going to throw a tuner on here. Can I input my microphone? But it's in B. It's in B. Okay. Let's go into the EQ. Go into the Pro Q and let's boost B, which is right there. Cool. Yeah. All right. Next, we got the Arvox, which is just some heavy compression, quite a bit of it. Three miles an hour. Actually, it's not as heavy as I thought it was. It's just going to about negative six. Uh, a little bit of fresh air, just a tiny, tiny bit to get the sizzle. And a fusion drive, which I think I'm going to replace with a Waves de -esser. Haven't decided yet. I might do that later. And another Pro Q just to scoop some, some mids. Three miles an hour. Through the breeze, dancing clouds, turning sprouts above the trees, spinning you around endlessly. Cool. All right, I'm going to start engaging the doubles. So let's actually group these. This is the doubles. I don't think they actually come in yet. No, not for a little bit. And Leslie, brightest smile in this town, probably. The doubles I'm gonna pan slightly left, slightly right. And if you're ever feeling down, you need a little more. I'm on my way. Tell me now. There's a lot of body in these vocals, in these doubles, so I'm just gonna do a whole low cut. Turn them down a little bit. Tell me now. If you ever need That's cool. I might actually widen these completely over here. This will be the last chorus. Down, yeah. and, and if I'm ever feeling down. Is this a low? And yeah. If I'm ever feeling down. It kinda sounds like there's like a phaser or something on there. Will you be on your way? Tell me now. That already sounds good. I'm just going to do a little bus compressor to compress them all at the same time. They're they're not too crazy dynamics wise, no. So I'll just do a SSL bus comp compressor there. And if I'm ever feeling down, and if I'm ever feeling down, on auto, will you be on your way? Cool. If I ever Add a little bit of reverb. By the way, the reverb I'm using is uh, just a Valhalla vintage verb. Looks like this. Uh, I'll do a little more low cut. And if I'm ever feeling down, will you be on your way? Delay. Tell me now, if I ever need and if I'm ever feeling down, will you be on your way? Cool. Tell me now. Let's switch to the main vocal and add the slap into it. If I ever need someone to stay the night. Slap is just an echo, um, echo boy with a hundred millisecond, and it's just uh, it's ping ponging. 
right there. You can see, oh, it's actually not single echo. It's probably smarter to do it like that. Uh, it just adds a little slapback delay, kind of like the, you know, back in the Elvis days, that was like a hell of a slapback delay. This just adds a little bit of width. Let's listen to all these vocals at once. And if I'm ever feeling down, will you be on your way? I want a little more of a polished sound. I'm going to add a tiny, tiny bit of auto tune onto it. And if I'm ever feeling down, there we go. Will you be on your way? It's also a, uh, a high one cutting through. I believe it's this one. This one, I'm going to go a little hard on the retune speed. Uh, I like really polished, really tuned um, har harmonies. So let's throw that into there. B major, soprano, sure. Cool. I'm just going to throw an EQ on here and cut a bit of it out. There we go. If I ever need someone to stay the night, tell me, tell me now. Turn the slap down. The trees. You around and Leslie. Brightest smile in this town, probably. And if you're ever feeling down. Automate this reverb to come in right this chorus part. And if you're feeling down, I'm on my way. A little more delay here, too. Tell me now if you ever need someone to stay the night. Yeah. And I'll switch this to a DSR just because, uh, I don't know, I don't really use the Fusion High Frequency Drive too too much. I actually just got it not too long ago. I, uh, I trust the DSR a little more, the Waves DSR. And if you're ever feeling down, I'm on my way. I'm going to throw auto-tune on the rest of these uh, harmonies. I just find they're not quite hitting the right notes. And if you're feeling down, -na 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 -na. on my way, tell me now. Yeah, right there, specifically. Um, so just, just a regular alto tenor. And if you're feeling down, that's better. Tell me, tell me now. If you ever need so I'm going to widen this guitar a little bit. Um, basically, just making a little more room for the vocals. So this is what, 23 left, 23 right. If you're feeling down, I'm on my way. Let's check this guitar in relationship to the lead vocals. If you're feeling down, a little bit of boominess I want to get rid of there. I'm on my way. Tell me now. Let's put it on the entire sub. If you ever need Someone to stay the night 
Tell me, tell me now If you ever need Some help Just that Someone When it's cold out If you're ever feeling down I'm on my way That Tell me All right, I'm going to turn this right down. I'm going to level the vocals a little bit. Cool. All right, now what are these? These will be the ad-libs. I'm going to work with the ad-libs later. Let's go into the verse 2 harmony. And this whistle. What's this whistle part? Okay, so for the instrumental. Cool. Let's engage those. I really am enjoying the way these uh, harmonies sound. I'm gonna actually just throw these into this group. Still think this is a bit loud. I like uh, pinning things a little off-centered. Let's just do that with the whistle, see how it sounds. I don't think this reverb works for uh, this whistle right now. I'm going to make my own reverb, I guess a new reverb. Uh, I'm going to use the same reverb. I'm going to use a Valhalla verb. Oops. And uh, we'll just do a bigger low cut. And let's do a modern, actually. That's better. Cool. These high harmonies, I feel like I want drown in some reverb. I'm going to throw them through Valhalla Shimmer. Okay, that's a little too much. Low cut's going to be quite high. I'm going to turn the mix down quite a bit. There we go. Let's get this. You keep whispering in my ear Is this real? Or are you an illusion in my mind? I'm going to heavily compress this just because there's some there's some parts sticking out. Uh, I'm going to throw an Arvox on there. It's nice and clean. Uh, I like to overly, overly compress with Arvox. Is this real? This part right here goes on for much longer than the lead vocal does. If we check right here, lead vocal, this is actually the lead vocal right here. See, the high vocal ends around here. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna shorten it quite a bit. I'm gonna turn on the warp. I'm gonna turn on the complex pro algorithm. And then we're just gonna take this and go like that. Now 
Now, I want this to be wide. Uh, right now, what we have is kind of two mono signals that are different in two different ears, um, or at least uh, pushed slightly towards two different ears. I actually want to, I'm going to put a chorus on here, um, or even a Haas effect would be nice. Uh, same sort of thing, but not quite, quite. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do KHS Haas. It might mess with the uh, mono bounce down, but for something like this, it's not, it's not too crazy. It's not too important. Do I even have, okay, I do. That's that's better. This is going to be a little wider. See, that's better. And this shimmer is a little, it's getting a little old. Let's hop back into just a regular old Val Hella Vintage. Let's throw a Val Hella Room on here. Um, just tiny, tiny bit. If we're spring in my Let's pan these ad libs and get them ready to mix. Deep double, double deep lib. Okay, so this is going to be left, this is going to be right, this is going to be left, and this is going to be right. Same old thing, auto tune. I think the high auto tune. What is this on? Auto oh, tune, that's fine. Cool. If I'm never feeling down, This, I think, should uh, have some delay on it. If I'm never feeling down, feeling down. And I'm going to drown these in reverb. Um, I don't want any clean signal going through. Well, I mean, I don't want a lot of clean signal going through. Something like this. Let's get that delay back on there too. Let's get a ping pong and we'll set it to something that's a little different. I feel like some help should have a lot more verb on it. So let's engage this automation. Let's show the automation. There. Someone, but it's cold Let's get that reverb in there, too, or that uh, delay in there, too. Okay, I'm going to go through them with Melodyne just to get the notes that I can't fix. I don't want to add too much auto-tune to make it sound fake, but I want to fix the note, so I have to add Melodyne. So let's hop into Melodyne right before everything, and we shall record the whole thing. Okay, all recorded. I'm going to quickly uh, double-tap everything, get it all in key, and then I'm going to go through it and adjust. Because that is sharp right there. Dream. Let's cut this here. Let's cut that there. Dream. 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 Through the breeze. Dancing.
Beautiful. Cool. Uh, so our vox, I'm going to keep off right here. I want it to be a little more natural. off on this attack I want a vocal to cut through a little bit there's a bit of a saturation sounds in this part right there especially Clouds, clouds. And it's not the uh, it's not the plugins. Cloud, cloud. You can hear the saturation. That uh, might just be like a warm. It could be like a tube mic he's recording through. Uh, that's fine. Let's re-enable all that. through the breeze, dancing clouds. All right, let's take our vox off for this section. I only want to engage it when it needs some power. Three miles an hour through the breeze, dancing cloud. Uh, I noticed a little bit of mud right here. Right there. So I did a dynamic EQ just to just to cut it when there's a lot, you know. And if you're I'm gonna throw Pro Q on here for the ad libs and make him a telephone. Repeating a little bit. Let's uh, get this. Bit too much auto tune on this. Okay, one note is off here. Okay, that's the mix. Originally there was a little bit more to that video, but an entire other file got corrupted. So that's awesome. I'm actually fucking tired of OBS at this point. Regardless, I'm gonna play the mix one more time so you can get a feel of what we did. And then uh, after that, we'll move on to the second part. This smile in this town, probably. And if you're feeling down, That's all you get because the song isn't out yet. Let's go on to the stock plugins. Okay, so before we begin, there is Melodyne, there is Autotune, and there is a de-esser on here. I mean, those are pretty standard plugins. You're not going to get a better tuning plugin than Melodyne and Autotune. Anyway, this is what it sounds without the rack. Still sounds pretty good. Let's put the rack on. Dancing clouds, turning sprouts above the trees. That's the preset. It's pretty drag and drop. I mean, I, I really do love it. I use it a lot, um, more than I'd like to admit, because it is stock presets, but stock plugins are really good. Uh, I'm just going to go through the sections really quickly. This is a pre-gain. Um, what I like to do is I'll clip gain everything till it's, I mean, loud but not clipping. 
and then if I need to pregain, I'll use it. Odds are I won't. Uh, there is a tame, which is just like the 1176. It'll tame the transients, and you can adjust the threshold of that tame right here. The tame makeup, uh, because if you're adjusting the threshold, the level's going to go down, so you just increase the makeup. Uh, there's smooth, and there's smooth makeup. Smooth is just like an LA-2A. It's just going to average out the signal. It's just another compressor. There's a low cut, mid cut, and a high boost. Uh, just standard EQ. And then for space and modulation, there's room. There's space, which is like a reverb. There's slap, like a slap delay. Uh, there's a regular delay. There's width, which will add width to your vocal. And there's color, which will add saturation to your vocal. It's also an octave low and an octave high if you want to get a little experimental. You can't turn it up too much because it doesn't sound good when it's up too much, but it's good to layer in um, those octaves. Let's uh, let's try it out. It's real. Are you an illusion in my mind? That's what that does. Super simple. Um, you should go ahead and try it out. Uh, it's on the store. There'll be a 25% discount in the description. So I uh, hope you enjoy and I uh, hope you make some cool stuff with it. Let me know in the comments down below if you need anything. That's it for the video. Goodbye.